Hi Cruisers, it's Sherry from Cruise Tips TV. In this video, we are back on board the Carnival Miracle with a deck by deck tour to check out the 2015 upgrades. Let's start with Frankenstein's Lab. This is a super fun place to get in a little dancing. The entrance is actually on deck two but the dancing action happens below on deck one. Don't worry, no monsters were harmed during this filming. Next up is the Mad Hatter's Ball. This is the alternate show lounge beneath the Phantom. The detail here is amazing. From the roses on the ceiling to the hearts on the tables, not to mention the larger than life Wonderland characters. We didn't notice any changes in the Bacchus dining room, but this is another area that is truly stunning. With decor that includes beautiful statues, glowing grape lights, and dramatic murals, we think Bacchus, the Greek god of wine, would approve. There are lots of table choices here. Large rounds, long ocean view tables, and plenty of cozy booths and intimate tables for two. Now let's take a look at one of the new areas from the upgrade. This is the Miracle's vintage themed cocktail pharmacy, Alchemy Bar. It's a trendy new addition with comfy seating, glowing menus, and custom elixirs to remedy anything that ails you. The Metropolis Lobby is kind of the hub of the ship. The Lobby Bar is a perfect place to chill. It's just steps away from guest services and the shore excursions desk, and includes a view of the dazzling elevators on one side. And a gorgeous mural on the other. Miracle's Internet Cafe is now the Fun Hub and has moved from the Raven's Library to just outside of Mr. Lucky's Casino. And speaking of Mr. Lucky's, here it is, in all its flashing and buzzing glory. 
there are a number of tables to choose from. And there's even this convenient bar. If you're in the mood for tapas style teasers, drop by the taste bar. Open on sea days and select port days, it's always a fun treat. Like cruising but don't want to miss the big game, or any game? Miracle's got you covered with the Skybox Sports Bar, one of the best sports bars we've seen at sea. This is another new area from the 2015 upgrade, and we think it's pretty awesome. While we're at it, let's hop over to the Red Frog Pub, another new addition. This Key West inspired bar features live music, private label signature brews, and fun pub style games. Just outside of the Red Frog Pub is the Fountainhead Lower Promenade and this convenient coffee shop. Card players will enjoy hanging out in the Joker card room. The Phantom Main Show Lounge is another area with truly stunning and unique decor. With all the great shows and activities here, it might be easy to overlook the motif, but it's really worth an extra look around. White enamel masks, candelabras, and stone figures really sell the Phantom of the Opera feel. While there's a piano at the Gotham Lounge, you'll likely just hang out here waiting for dinner or friends near the Bacchus Dining Room. If you've got a sweet tooth or a kid, you'll love cherry on top. This new upgrade is chocked full of sweet stuff. Our son was like, well, a kid in a candy shop. If you're ready for a little entertainment, piano style, you'll want to check out Sam's Piano Bar. There's plenty of seating here, and it's a perfect place to relax with friends and music. Want to tie the knot at sea? Yep, here's the place to do it.
the Raven Library feels kind of sad without the internet cafe, but it's a nice place for a good book and a little quiet time. If you want some quiet time in a little brighter location, check out the white trellised Gatsby's Garden. It's quite a unique area, but because we have a youngling, it's simply the path to the Wizard's Video Arcade. You'll find wizards at the end of Gatsby's Garden, just up the stairs. As cruise ship arcades go, this is a pretty good one. The machines were all clean and in working order during our sailing. Games are paid for with your cruise card, so no need to worry about pockets full of change or tokens. This is Circle C. Carnival says the C stands for chill, connect, and cool. It's where young teens ages 12 to 14 go to hang out. So yeah, it's a chill place. And at the total opposite of the chill spectrum, we have the laundry room. We've had a few requests to include these facilities in our videos. For us, it's a necessary evil. There are a number of laundry rooms on various decks on board. Check the posted ship maps for the closest to your room. We've seen where the teens chill. Now here's where the grown-ups chill. Ah, yes. The appropriately named Serenity. With its terrific bar, comfy loungers, pool, and hot tub, this really is a good spot to chill. This is Horatio's. Miracle's Buffet. They've done a good job with the layout here, and we rarely had trouble finding a nice booth or table. Including the aft Serenity Pool, there are four pools on the Miracle. The Ulysses and Sirens pools are located midship on Deck 9. Sitting conveniently between the two pools is the Odyssey Bar. And finally, the very tiny kids pool located high atop the ship, close to the twister water slide. Now let's take a look at the spa and salon. There's a lovely waiting room, a dry sauna, and a steam room. The fitness center on the Miracle is quite nice. Starting with a large aerobic room, continuing on with a double deck full of pain-inducing workout equipment, and finishing with a relaxing hot tub. Last time we were aboard, 
The Twister water slide was a bit of a letdown. We had trouble slowing down or stopping halfway through, but that was not the case this time. The whole family had fun this time around. Here's a tip though. It does help to give yourself a big push at the start of the slide. These mesmerizing glass stairs lead to the spectacular Nick and Nora's Steakhouse. We love the view here, and the food has been consistently awesome. Here's a look at Club O2. This is the hangout for high schoolers age 15 to 17. They can do stuff like watch movies, listen to music, play sports and video games, or join karaoke jam sessions. Mmm, karaoke jam. And finally we have the sports deck. It has a mini golf course, a small jogging track, and a basketball court. That's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe. And hey, did you know we're on Facebook? Search Cruise Tips TV and we'll keep you up to date on our latest adventures. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Hey, click me to subscribe. There it goes.